this is Norinrad89 here bringing you another Bleach Immortal Souls video. Today I'm going to be talking about how you kind of upgrade your characters and where to find stuff for them and everything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So these ones are all my new characters that I got. I got, oh, loading. I got this character, Rangiku, for logging in two days in a row. So that's definitely a great character to have, but suggest, highly suggest upgrading her right away when you get her. Because she has an AoE silence ability that is definitely going to help you slow down your enemies and just stop them from using like really annoying moves and everything. And then I have Ichigo, Jashiru, Orihime, Momo. I'm going to call her Momo just because that's her nickname from the actual TV show. I'm going to call her Momo. And Chad. And then Uduyu I got for completing the other chapter. We got Rukia and Uduru. So those are all the characters I have so far. And then... The info is where you see their profile and everything, so it tells you like what kind of like traits they have, like attacker, crit, follow-up attack, those are his, attacker, bleed, rage, recovery, she's a tank, AoE, silence, so like so on and so forth. It's more descriptive on what the characters do. Then the stats attributes is like their health and all that kind of stuff and everything, so that's their section. Shows you that and their defense, attack power and everything, those... And then you could like go to the gears right here and you could use scrolls and items that you require that you gain in idle mode by claiming your rewards and you also do by doing missions and fighting in the elite mode so you can do that both the story mode and elite mode and that's where you get like the scrolls and things like those like I have to unlock that node so I can try to get these up to the next tier because I gotta get those to green too I definitely highly recommend trying to keep your gear in line with your character level so like Ichigo and Jashiro are blue I'm really trying to get these gears to blue because like just having the gear at the same level around as the character is the best I believe now you can also promote the weapons by using these essences essence that you get in like gotcha pulls and the heart shop and everything like that and that's where you can get those and that's where you promote that to get it even more stat boost and then after it's promoted you can awaken the weapon and when you awaken the weapon they get different skills but you first have to star the weapon using the promotion thing so definitely highly recommend working the gears a very important part I definitely respect the gears for sure and then the upgrading this is where you hit your character level so you use the potions right here and then you can get them to the next level the bigger like the potions see those orange the red and those other dark purple ones those ones get you more quicker faster they'll build the character up enhancing is where you get certain gears to enhance your characters like overall like the color level blue one blue two stuff like that like when you get to blue two you get volatile war soul i'll get that and then after blue two i think it's uh purple it goes to purple and then orange is the highest you could take them i believe right now and then to promote this is where you promote them We're using the when you collect enough character shards. You promote them to the next star. And that's very helpful too because with the star level that unlocks their next skills. So you see how it says unlocks at 4 star, 5 star, 6 star. You have to have them at that level before you could have access to that ability or that skill. And see the skills, you use the gold to upgrade. You can go upgrade 1 times, takes it up 1 time, or you can do upgrade 10 to just do it 10 right away. And then we have War Souls, which are things that help them regenerate rage. The first one does. That's what the first one usually does. And like there's different ones. When an ally dies, 21 rage is regenerated. See, it usually has to do with rage, basically. And then the second one, I'll be able to unlock when I get to blue 2. Then purple 2, you get the third one. And then when you get to orange, you get your heroic War Soul, which is your complete War Soul which they usually do the, the best. Those are usually the best ones, the orange ones. They usually do multiple stat boosts, multiple things, and, like, it's just better overall. Like, they're not always perfect, but those usually are the ones better overall to go with. Then we have talents as well, which do certain things like Soul Society orders, 0.8% more gold. So that only when we get those in non-PVP modes, Attack, defense, and HP of all characters are increased by 0.8%, and you have to, to upgrade that 
upgradable when Ichigo is promoted to four stars. So see certain things like the star level counts on that as well. So those are the different things that you can use to upgrade your characters. I know it seems overwhelming and it's kind of like borderline on being like a lot, but it's still really cool. And like I said, you just either do your challenges, your arenas, like I just got the Seireite challenge. I unlocked that earlier and you can go in there and do battles and everything. So we'll go in here, watch, we'll actually do one. And those are the rewards we'll get. And we'll challenge this team. And there's my layout. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. And then when you battle the teams, you get your prizes. And then after you complete the mission, you actually get like a special banner thing that you can choose that affects your team for the rest of the like gauntlet battling as you climb the tiers and battle new people and everything like that. So it's definitely a fun game. And I really thoroughly enjoy this game. And that's why I said, like, I just want to get people on it to, like, notice it. Because it's a very fun, free-to-play game. And, like, I'm by all means, if you want to spend money, spend money on it. You know, it's definitely fun. Like, I would totally do it. But, like, I'm doing this free-to-play. So, and there we go. See, there's the banner things. When the start bed, like, all the different things, they do different stuff. But I usually go with the ones that do all. Like, victory increases HP by 3%. And, like, so that will recover every time we win. We'll get some more HP back. So then you could also go to the shops. That's also a place where you can buy these gears. But I would only recommend doing those if you have like a like major gold that you're willing to throw away and use and stuff like the and the soul jades. Usually I save those for like rare soul banners for new characters that come out or like the squad. Like there's a squad reward section and when you're trying to get eyes and shards you could actually use the soul jades to refresh your pulls and do get better pulls. So soul jades definitely save those for sure. Like the soul stone, like that's not bad, but two hundred and fifty soul jades still. Like I might get that just to <laughs> So yeah, that's definitely like I said, all the stuff about like upgrading your characters all right there and their info and everything. Go through it, read their attributes. You could even do bonds as well, which you when you unlock full teams right here, you get certain like attributes when all characters are on HP increases by 15% on this team. I just need that one character left. I need her right there. And then I could get that. So definitely it's really a great game. Like I said, it's borderline being on like a little too much to upgrade the characters, but it's still really, really cool, really fun and enjoyable keeps you interested and you wanting to farm and do things and like I said fun tip about the farming if you sim 10 battles when you're looking for a gear if you get the required gear you need in under 10 battles it will automatically stop so that is a beautiful beautiful thing I love that great quality of life feature and if you guys are liking the Bleach Immortal Souls videos hit that like button hit that subscribe button on the bottom right corner for me and keep up to date with the notifications and everything because I'll be playing this, doing it free to play, and dropping my week two video next week. Catch you all later. Peace out.